Alright guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. This is Kingdom of Dash episode 10 and uh, this episode we are actually going to be starting on a new project on our castle but in between last episode and this episode I've done quite a bit of work. At the end I mentioned I wanted to fill this place out with a couple more buildings. I got two, I could probably fit one or two more in here and I've got an idea about what I want for these two but these two buildings have to do with villagers now this one currently is not working this is a villager breeder system that works in 1.15 and it should work in 1.16 so far out of the 1.16 snapshots this system still works so i've built this to be prepared um to make new villagers uh in the future this building is our trading hall uh that i have been working on and i want to dye these real quick so we've got uh, protection three here, and I've made it. I've infected them with a zombie, and then cured them of it. So yeah, we've been working a lot. I got mending and sharpness four on this guy. I'm breaking three on this guy, and yeah, some crappy stuff. And then mending, and then the bookshelf thing on this guy. So I'm gonna show you how broken this is. I've got one book on me, no emeralds, no or nothing else on me. Okay, I go to this guy, I give him my one book, I get an emerald. Yay! I now go to this guy, I give my one emerald, I get three bookshelves, I place these down, and I have nine books, and now I have nine emeralds, and then I do this, and then I have 27 books, and it's infinite emeralds, and it's very simple, very easy to do, all you have to do, in 1.14 that is, uh, if you're playing in 1.14, I don't know if this bug is fixed, because it's definitely a bug, um, where essentially you get, you know, the villager with the trade that you want, you let a zombie infect them, and then you cure them, and then their cells are all one, and it's that easy. Get those emeralds. Now we gotta wait for this guy to restock. They restock multiple times throughout the day. Uh, so yeah, it will might be a minute, but it's still infinite emeralds. This guy will 100% restock, and I also have that trade on this guy, I believe, yep. So I can work on this guy. Has this guy restocked yet? No, not yet. Oh yeah. Also, gives you a ton of XP, repairs everything. I can hold stuff. Now is this guy? No, he's not restocked yet. And he's got the name tag. That's his last trade right there. So, uh, I'm going to uh, keep doing this, and uh, I'll update you guys. Uh, you know, with how many emeralds we've made uh, here in a little bit. Does this have the book trade? Yeah, this guy has the book trade as well. So there, 27 emeralds started with one book. Uh, and then, you know, of course we could just go back here and then do more of these. And now that trade is locked out as well, but since this is right here, uh, he will restock. Uh, it just may not be late enough in the day for him to restock. I'm not entirely sure yet, uh, but uh, uh, we will see. Did we restock yet? No. Okay, uh, so uh, I'll, you know, stay checked up on these guys and see when they restock. And uh, we are going to get prepared to head over to our new area and uh, start clearing out some trees to make room for our castle. See you guys then. Okay, I've been working over there getting uh, some trees chopped down. And I come over here and I have absolutely no idea what happened here. No clue. I mean, it literally looks like a player logged on and blew a bunch of stuff up. But it's a single player world. I'm hitting tab. Like... This is so strange. I have no idea how this could have happened. But now I have to fix all this. So, yeah. Uh, a little bit behind schedule now. So, gonna fix all this and we'll get back to uh, working on the clearing out area for the castle. Alright guys, just a little bit of trading later. And I've got this many emeralds. And uh, just so you guys know, they do restock. Uh, this works, you know, pretty much perfectly. Uh, what I want to do, even though this is infinite and won't always be infinite, I want to try and go on ahead and get um, like some farming villages and stuff in these spots for like potato trades and stuff. And I want to build some automatic farms. Also, I want to stock up a lot on sugarcane um, because that type of farm is going to be broken in 1.16 as well. So I want to stock up on sugarcane, cactus, stuff like that you can put in the uh, one tick pulse farms. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely just got some upkeep things to do uh, over the next few uh weeks before 1.16 releases so i'm gonna be working on that some as well but uh now we are all ready to start working on our dark oak village so 
uh, I'm going to go over there and start working, and I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. Um, this is what we're looking at so far. I think we want to build it with this angle in mind. Uh, this is actually kind of further away from Lakeshore. Lakeshore's off that way. But if we build it with this angle in mind and then we dress up these cliffs, uh, I think this could be a real treat. And there's so many cool like natural things that were generated in this area. Like look at this. This entire like ravine cavern through here. Like, we could totally do some stuff in here and, like, have a little, like, hidden town through here and maybe, like, the ruined wall or pathway with, the, like, a tower up here. It would be really, really cool. So, uh, we're gonna get to work. I've brought a bunch of cobblestone sandstone and I'm gonna work on laying out this castle. And then I want, hopefully later today, to actually get, uh, our gateway, the outer gateway, uh, constructed, hopefully. Uh, and then maybe a little bit of one of the walls, just so that you guys get an idea of uh, what we're going to be going for for the rest of this castle build here right from the very beginning. So, going to get to work, and I'll show you guys when I have some progress. Alright guys, we are all good. I'm gathering up a bunch of cobblestone and other supplies to take over. Do we got some stone? Let's take three shulker boxes full of stone. We got a bunch of cobblestone, dirt, a bunch of different wools. And, you know, some greenery and stuff that should get us started. Let's go on over there. I've kind of got a layout going. Uh, so let's fly on over. Alright, it's coming into render right now. But I'm going to sleep real quick so I can show you uh, everything in the daytime. Alright, it's daytime. And let's kind of break this down um, so I can show you guys what we're looking at. This is going to be our front gate right here, this little sandstone part. And I kind of want to have like a, uh, a staircase coming down right here and a little port right here. And if you follow, you can follow this river all the way through between these two biomes and it will get you all the way to Lakeshore. So we'll have like a little town somewhere right in between these two that right along that river, you know, little fishing huts, stuff like that. Um, so we've got this little it's going to be like a little courtyard area and then this is going to be a wall that's a step up a layer um and this will probably get terraformed like up to this level so up here it'll be relatively flat at this level and then this is going to be like the keep and this is in, in no way like the final form of it uh, this is just like a basic structural idea of what i kind of want to go for uh, but this cobblestone that you see uh, going around is kind of like the outer wall um, that we are going to do um, but for this episode all we want to work on now is the gate I want to try and uh, fully do at least one side of the gate um, and maybe the other side so I'm gonna start working on that here 
uh, pretty much immediately. Uh, we're going to get all sorted with this stuff and uh, we are going to roll the time lapse. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. Uh, right now, I'm just working on, you know, uh, clearing out uh, this little courtyard area that we're going to have. But uh, we're not really working on that this episode. Uh, we've uh, accomplished what I wanted to get done this episode, which is, you know, clear all this out and get a layout and build, you know, this nice, beautiful uh, gateway entrance just so y'all get an idea of the type of theme and level of detail we're going for. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this is all I was really planning on doing this episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next episode, uh, we're either going to be tackling uh, this area right here, like this arch, and get a couple towers in here, or maybe this courtyard area. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys would prefer, and then I will make that happen. I'll take a couple of days between uh, to try and get some feedback from everybody on what you guys would prefer to see. So... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, my name is Dash. I upload videos every Wednesday slash Thursday, so subscribe uh, for more content like this. Uh, also, I've got a new, you know, uh, outro card, so I hope you guys like that uh, over, you know, uh, the old. My name is Dash, and as always, thanks for watching.